if you truly are sorry, I know I can speak for myself. I I forgive you. And I know if you go to God and ask him, he will forgive you. And I don't think anyone could say it. Again, I'm speaking for myself, not even bad for my family. But I love you just like anyone else. And I'm not going to say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but I see, I, I personally want the best for you. And I, I wasn't going to ever say this in front of my family or anyone, but I don't even want you to go to jail. I want the best for you. Because I know that's what that's exactly what both of them would want you to do. And the best would be give your life to Christ. I'm not going to say anything else. I think giving your life to Christ would be the best thing that both of them would want you to do. Again, I love you as a person. And I don't wish anything bad on you. I don't know if this is possible, but can can I give her a hug, please? Please. Yes. Uh, that act is a truly, again, uh, something I think we could all learn from. It was a, it was a healing moment. Mm -hmm. I hope it has that effect. I really do. Um, because I think he embraced the idea and the concept. Well, now the judge is uh, talking to Amber. Oh my God, I'm, the judge is down there um, talking to Amber. I, I don't, I just don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. What do you think's happening right now? I have no idea, quite honestly. I've never seen anything like this.
we've lost Salem. Okay, so um, I, I, this is extraordinary. I feel like we're watching something that I've never seen before. I mean, this moment, um, the hug between Amber Geiger and Botham Jean's brother, and now the judge. Uh, it, it sounded like maybe she was reading a, a Bible scripture or witnessing somehow. I mean, it's just a, oh, my God, now the, the judge is hugging Amber Geiger. I... Okay, this is, um, I'm starting to lose it again. Well, <laughs> and I think that the, the emotional aspects of this case, and again, without... Giving all praise to the one and only creator, Yahuwah. And I'd like to say shalom and give a shout out to those of you who observe the Feast of Trumpets last month and remember that the Day of Atonement is this week on the 9th. Um, you could begin your fasting that morning until the evening, although there are those of us who will begin our fasting on the night before. As you know, we should acknowledge our own holy days and not these make-believe fake holidays that we've been brainwashed into keeping. Which is a good segue and leads me to the topic of this video. Now, we don't usually deal with trending topics on this channel. And there are a couple of specific reasons for that. Number one, this is not that type of channel. Um, there's already way too much uh, saturation of people talking about the same things in a quest to get more views and um, we don't care about any of that over here. Uh, those of you who have been following this channel since its inception know the specific reasons it was started and pandering to get a large audience is not one of them. Secondly, um, our people are too um, immersed in trying to be trendy and we see that as one of their problems. They're always moving to the latest thing and never really focusing on important issues, at least not enough, in showing all of the attention span of a gnat with ADHD. Now, having said that, we do want to take a little time to briefly address something that has been trending lately and that's the verdict in the Botham John Amber Geiger case and the uh, subsequent courtroom antics and circus like theatrics that unfolded thereafter. Now over here we're going to say some things that you probably never heard anywhere else and some of the things may be offensive but they will be irrefutable. Now We've sat back and analyzed a lot of what many commenters and content creators have been saying about this on social media. Some of which we agree with, some of which we don't. However, we're going to take a different angle. Um, we're going to look at this from the standpoint of hypocrisy. We're going to address the fact that in spite of all the outrage many so-called blacks or African-Americans, ADOS, or whatever we're being called this week, whatever the outrage for this uh, buffoonery and coonery which took place in that courtroom, and we can all agree it was disgusting to see, you know, seeing that black woman bailiff stroking the potentially lice and tick infested cranium of that female, and I don't want to disproportionately stretch the term woman to uh, include Amber Geiger, but um, it was really sad to see her do that. Um, or the uh, tragically misguided young man forgiving and even embracing her as well as the black female judge. Now, there is a reason to believe that all of that was staged but the fact remains they still participated in it. Now, what I'm going to present to you 
for your consideration is that each of those individuals who you would say were quote off code in their behavior can be representatives or microcosms of the overall black populace. As I said, I know you're not going to like this, but it is irrefutable and it needs to be said. Exhibit A, the black woman bailiff stroking Amber Geiger's hair. Now, what is the difference between that shameful display and the behavior of black women at large spending billions of dollars to buy non-black women's hair, weave, stitch, and sew it into their heads, dye it blonde, etc. Looking ridiculous as if the creator made a mistake and put the wrong woman's hair on their head so they need to correct it. So I guess they're saying that the creator makes mistakes and, uh, you know, they know better than he does. But anyway, what's the difference between what they di- uh, what that bailiff did and what they do on a daily basis? Oh, oh I, I know what you might say. You're going to say, oh, well, the difference is Emperor Geiger, she killed somebody. Well, you don't know what those women, you know, who black women or patching their hair into their heads. You, you don't know where that hair came from and what those women did. They could have been into all kind of wickedness. And you're putting those same spirits on yourself. So in essence, what black women are doing as a collective is far worse than what that bailiff did. So what's up with all of this uh, selective outrage? Exhibit B, the judge hugging Geiger and giving her a Bible. Now, this is a microcosm of the mammy syndrome that's rampant in the black community. Now, we've all seen many black women from the streets to corporate boardrooms give attitude and poor service to their own people while being extra nice and accommodating to non-blacks. I would argue that the cumulative effect of this has done much more damage to the black community than that judge ever could. Last but not least, Exhibit C. The brother of Botham who was so willing to forgive and embrace the white female who murdered his brother in cold blood. Now as a student of the book, I would be remiss to not acknowledge that there are scriptures to support forgiveness. However, not before proper judgment, punishment, restitution, and remorse has been completed, which none of those things occurred when this young man so irresponsibly lavished his forgiveness upon her. So what he did falls way outside of the scriptural guidelines of at least, you know, what the Torah considers judgment, um, which is paramount in the law. Things like an eye for an eye come to mind. Now, having said that, it's time to point out the hypocrisy. This young man who embraced his brother's killer is no worse than all you black men who choose to date, marry, and have children with the daughters and granddaughters of your former slave master, who also murdered many of your relatives. Moreover, his embracing of that white female is tantamount to how so-called Negroes have embraced white culture, customs, religions, and as I mentioned earlier, the fake holidays. I mean, come on. You be white folks celebrating the 4th of July when they declared 
your dependence on them and you love his Christ mess folly day more than he ever could. All these heathen customs, you have embraced lock, stock, and barrel. And to make matters worse, when those of us try to tell you to embrace who you really are, your own customs, such as the aforementioned uh, Day of Atonement, which is coming up, those are our holy days. And those of us who are in tune with our lost heritage know that we are required to reintroduce ourselves to these in order for us to get back to where we belong. But you scoff at that. And you're the same people that want to say that ancient Egypt was black and that the current occupants, those Arabs, are not the real authentic Egyptians and I would agree with that however when you go to the neighboring landmass which was also originally occupied by blacks i.e. our ancestors you want to discard that and claim that those false Jews that are there are the actual people some of you go so far as to say oh well since they own it now. They are the real Jews. Are you kidding me? So I guess that those Arabs that are there now are the real Egyptians. But this is the type of hypocrisy that you guys do. All the while being outraged at situations like this. So anyway, I'm going to stop this audio right there. Because like I said, I just wanted to briefly address this. But... Once again, those of you who are participating in trying to re-acclimate yourself to the ways of the Most High, shout out to you. Um, Thank you for sticking with this channel. Um, Go in and make sure that you study your scriptures. Look at the presentations that we've done, such as our most recent documentary, Heathen Blasphemy. Put a lot of work into it. There's a lot of powerful information in there. And um, everyone that's seen it, that's given us feedback, has been very positive, very raving. And uh, we want you to take a look at that. If you have any questions, let us know. We don't charge. It took a lot of work, but we know that We're obligated to uh, put this word out to the people who can receive it. We've already been blessed, so we don't need to grind the the faces of the poor, as the scriptures say. Because, you know, a lot of you, you know, may just be getting by. So, you know, we put the work in, did the research so that you can go ahead and benefit from that. So go ahead and take a look at these. Support them, thumbs up, share them, whatever. But at any rate... Once again, all praises to the almighty creator, Yahuwah. Thanks for your time and attention. If you have any questions, any comments, as I said, I know a man says some things you don't like. Oh, well, I'm not here to make any friends. Just here to present the truth. But if you have any problems with anything I said, feel free to leave a comment. Once again, that's going to be it. Shalom.